Children to do you are seeing desktop computers in different models laptops in new designs and models small to bullet switch can do thekum pull to work of a computer. We have been treach at this stage in our day or two. From the ancient times ministering developments. From our custom modern computers computer has passed through various phases. Let us discuss early computing devices developed by Beeman. History of Computer Children, today you are seeing desktop computers in different models, laptops in new designs and models, small tablets which can do the complete work of a computer. We have not reached this stage in a day or two. From the ancient times, man is doing developments. From abacus to modern computers, computer has passed through various phases. Let us discuss early computing devices developed by man. The Bacchus approximately 4,000 years ago the Kinas invented the Bacchus. It was the first machines for counting and calculating. It was medio for wooden from a metal rods and wooden beads. Today the Bacchus is widely still asset in China and other Asian countries to count and calculate just as we are calculators. Each bead has our specific value. Reading from right to left the bead sign their first column air worth 1 in these con column the beads air worth 10 in the third column the beads air worth 100 etc. Addition subtraction multiplication and divisionary performed by moving the correct beads to the middle of the bacchus. The person operating the bacchus performs calculations in their head and uses the bacchus as a physical aid to keep track of the sums the carries. Counting boards and counting to bullets where real sow store a present everyday calculation shoot as goods bought and sold. Pascal I 1642 a French mathematician Blaise Pascal invented the Pascal and eat the jiv 19 years. The Pascal I nice known as the first mechanical and automatic calculator. Pascal invented the Pascal I to make his father's Joe Bass attacks account and easier. The machine is also called Pascal's machine. Thepiscaline weighs a wooden box that cold and add and subtract B means so for serious off gear sand wheels. We each wheel rotated on a revolution or two of the turn the neighboring wheel. On top of the wheels were a serious off windows through which the totals cold buried. About 50 models were reconstructed and were a madea for diver Ibon Jan Copper. Pascal later became a famous in mathematics and philosophy but the is still remember Ed for his role in computer history. Napier's Benes in the early 17th century John Pierre, a Scottish mathematician, invented another calculating tool. It used markhead strips of wood or bone side by side to multiply and divide. This tool became known as Napier's Buns. Leibniz calculator in 1673 German inventor Gottfried Leibniz developed the Leibniz calculator. The Leibniz was also a calculating machine but muke superior to that of the Pascaline. It called a Morath and just add and subtract. The Leibniz calculator called also multiply divide and fin square roots of numbers. It was mechanical and work at be hand. A crank was added to speed up the work of this calculator. It was used by mathematicians and bookkeepers. Jackward Loom in 1801 Jackward invented the Jackward Loom. It was our weaving machine that was controlled by punched cards. While the loom wasping pump head cards with whole sign them were attached together in a pattern through which strings of thread were automatically leafed. These cards will feed the right pieces of thread into the loom to make a beautiful cloth. We bestowed a still a sathejar cord loom. In the years to follow variations on jack cord sponge head cards will find a very tire fuses including representing the music toba played by automated pianos and the steering of programs for computers. Difference in Guinea and analytical engine in the early 1820s an English mathematician by the name Charles Babbage designed a computing machine called the difference in Guinea. This machine was so burst in the calculating and printing of simple math tables. In 1830 she designed a con computing machine called the analytical engine. 
His machine waste burst in calculating complicated problems be following a set of instructions. Differencing in how any therif this machines were ever finished because either technology at the time waste not advanced and in both of his projects lacked financial funding. The computing machines made in 1900 sand event the set of the based on the designs of the differencing in the analytical engine. This is why Charles Babagai is known as the father of computers. Analytical engine the analytical engine a echani cal computer that called solvini mathematical problem. A choose punch ed card similar to those served by the Jacquard Lumen called perform simple conditional operations. Mark the next major invention in the history of computing began in 1937. In that year, Howard Aiken outlined a plan for our machine that called for mathematics problems involving very larger numbers. Beckhaus he and led distinct amounts or numbers it was a digital device. In 1944, Ibbaden genius Bill Aiken's machine called the Marquis Vaz Meiji 478, adding machine sanders calculators that were connected by almost 500 miles of wires. Marquis Salsa known as Ask Automatic Sequence Control Ed Calculator. Anonis con the marker called ad three digit numbers for example 12,345,678 plus 90,123,456 plus 78,901,234. It called print out its results and punch ed card saw on an electric typewriter. The machine had some serious disadvantages. It was very big 51 feet long and 8 feet high. It's 3,000 electricals which has mediterable racketast take a cadon and off. The marquee was expensive and complicated to build. After a lath add-on million parts sand weighed approximately 5 tons any as any asystemidus te first generation computer. The first generation computers were a huge as low expensive and often undependable. In 1946, two American second and John Morkley built the NIAS electronic numerical integrator and computer electronic computer which used vacuum tubes instead of the mechanicals which as of the marquee. The NIAC used through sansif vacuum tubes which to coup pallet off space and gave off a great deal of fear just like light bulbs do. The NIAC led to the vacuum tube type computers like the VAS electronic discrete variable automatic computer and the NIVAC universal automatic computer. With how tan a moving parts vacuum tubers gold take very weak signals and make the signal stronger amplify it. Vacuum tubers gold also stop and start the flaum if electricity instantly switch. The Zetwo properties made the a computer possible. The Nia Gofsamuch Hethetith at Ubercooled B Gigant to care conditioners. However, even with the Sehuch Cooler's vacuum tube is still overheated regularly. It wastes time for some ething new. The first general purpose electronic computer appeared in 1946. It was developed by John William Orkley and John Prosper Eckert. The Calder McKinney Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer ENIAC. Unlike previous counting tools, any a Chad Noam Chanical parts no counter sand no gears. It really had Celellian vacuum tubes. Each vacuum tube contained an electronic circuit at any pathway that carried electricity. Each circuit called turn on and over very much the way a light bulb does. Enya cooperated 1,000 times faster than Marquee. It called 5,000 additions per second and 300 multiplications. The cost of his machine was around $3 million. However, Enya had a number of problems. It's 19,000 vacuum tubers to cup some much space that it required a measuring 20 feet b 40 feet. The tubers also produced a lot of heart and were always burning out. On average, 50 tubes burned out each day. Anavas in 1951, Eckert and Morkley designed another computer called Bunivac Universal Automatic Computer. It was her first computer toba sold to businesses. Anavac contained 5,400 vacuum tubes and used magnetic tapes to give instructions to the computer. Thuniva Quasus to predict the presidential election of Dwight Eisenhower. Noon believed the Machinist prediction at first, but it was very accurate. Early age calculation devices. Abacus. Approximately 4,000 years ago, the Chinese invented the abacus. It was the first machine used for counting 
and calculating. It was made of a wooden frame, metal rods, and wooden beads. Today, the abacus is still widely used in China and other Asian countries to count and calculate, just as we use calculators. Each bead has a specific value. Reading from right to left, the beads in the first column are worth one. In the second column, the beads are worth ten. In the third column, the beads are worth hundred, etc. Pascaline. In 1642, a French mathematician Blaise Pascal invented the pascaline. At the age of nineteen years, the pascaline is known as the first mechanical and automatic calculator. Pascal invented the pascaline to make his father's job as a tax accountant easier. The machine is also called Pascal's machine. Pascal later became. Famous in mathematics and philosophy, but he is still remembered for his role in computer history. Napier's bones. In the early 17th century, John Napier, a Scottish mathematician, invented another calculating tool. It used marked strips of wood or bone side by side. To multiply and divide, this tool became known as Napier's bones. Leibniz calculator. In 1673, German inventor Gottfried Leibniz developed the Leibniz calculator. The Leibniz was also a calculating machine. But much superior to that of the pascaline, it could do more than just add and subtract. The Leibniz calculator could also multiply, divide, and find square roots of numbers. Jacquard loom. In 1801, Jacquard invented the Jacquard loom. It was a weaving machine that was controlled by punched cards. While the loom was being pumped, cards with holes in them were attached together in a pattern through which strings of thread were automatically fed. These cards would feed the right pieces of threads into the loom to make a beautiful cloth. Difference engine. And analytical engine. In the early 1820s, an English mathematician by the name Charles Babbage designed a computing machine called the Difference Engine. This machine was to be used in the calculating and printing of simple math tables. In the 1830s. He designed a second computing machine called the analytical engine. This machine was to be used in calculating complicated problems by following a set of instructions. Mark One. The next major invention in the history of computing began in 1937. In that year, Howard Aiken outlined a plan for a machine that could perform mathematics problems involving very large numbers. Because it handled distinct amount of numbers, it was a digital device. In 1944, IBM paid engineers to build Aiken's machine called the Mark I. It was made up of 78 adding machines and desk calculators that were connected by almost 
500 miles of wires. Mark I is also known as ASCC, Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator. In one second, the Mark I could add three eight-digit numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It could print out its result on punched cards or on an electric typewriter. The machine had some serious disadvantages. It was very big, 51 feet long and 8 feet high. Its 3,000 electrical switches made a terrible racket as they kicked on and off. The Mark I was expensive and complicated to build. After all, it had one million parts and weighed approximately five tons. ENIAC ENIAC is termed as the first generation computer. The first generation computers were huge, slow, expensive, and often undependable. In 1946, two Americans, Eckert and John Mouchley, built the ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, electronic computer which used vacuum tubes instead of the mechanical switches of the Mark I. The ENIAC used thousands of vacuum tubes which took up a lot of space and gave off a great deal of heat, just like light bulbs do. The ENIAC led to other vacuum tube type computers like the EDVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer and the UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. ENIAC operated 1000 times faster than Mark I. It could do 5,000 additions per second and 300 multiplications. The cost of this machine was around three million dollars. However, ENIAC had a number of problems. Its 19,000 vacuum tubes took up so much space that it required a room measuring 20 feet by 40 feet. The tubes also produced a lot of heat and were always burning out. On average, 50 tubes burned out each day. UNIVAC In 1951, Eckert and Mouchley designed another computer called the UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. It was the first computer to be sold to businesses. UNIVAC contained 5,400 vacuum tubes and used magnetic tapes to give instructions to the computer. The UNIVAC was used to predict the presidential election of Dwight Eisenhower. No one believed the machine's prediction at first, but it was very accurate. 